The next folktale that I want to read is called Zabuchi the Tortoise, retold by Gerald McDermott. This is a folktale, a particular type of folktale, a trickster tale from the Amazon rainforest. That's in South America. This is a folktale from South America. Zabuchi the Tortoise. You know what a tortoise is? It's like a turtle. Zabuchi the tortoise played a song on his flute. His shell was smooth and shiny and his song was sweet. His music wove through the tangled vines and floated above the treetops. All the creatures of the rainforest listened to his song. For some, Zabuchi's song was sour. Jaguar could remember when Zabuchi tricked him into chasing his own tail. Lizard could remember when Zabuchi tricked him into giving Zabuchi a ride on his back. Tapir could remember when Zabuchi tricked him into a tug of war with Whale. But the birds of the air loved Zabuchi's music, and they sang when he played. All except a vulture, who could not sing at all. He was jealous of Zabuchi and waited for the day when he could eat the little tortoise. There came a time when all the birds of the air were invited to a festival in heaven. The king of heaven called them together to sing, to rejoice, and to receive his blessing. When Zabuchi saw the great gathering of the birds, he wanted to go too. I want to play my flute for the king of heaven, he said. Vulture laughed at him. I may not be able to make music like you, said Vulture, but I can spread my wings and soar all the way to heaven. Take me with you, Zabuchi pleaded. Vulture saw his chance. Climb on my back, little friend, he said. Vulture spread his dark wings and rose up in the air. Zabuchi held tight to Vulture's feathers as they flew high above the treetops. The dense forest and the great river stretched far below. They had almost reached heaven when Vulture suddenly swooped and turned upside down. Zabuchi lost hold of Vulture's feathers and slipped off his back. Zabuchi went tumbling down through the sky. The earth came rushing toward him and he cried out, Twigs and bushes, flowers and trees, move aside, make way for me. All the plants and trees of the forest spread apart to make way for Zabuchi, but he had forgotten to call to the rock. Zabuchi came down on it with a crack and his smooth, shiny shell broke into pieces. At that moment, the music of the festival in heaven stopped. The king of heaven looked down and saw a vulture joining the other birds. Where is Zabuchi? asked the king of heaven. Vulture shrugged. How should I know? He answered. Zabuchi wanted to play for me, and you offered to bring him here, said the king of heaven sternly. Tell me where he is. Vulture turned away from the king of heaven and hid his head beneath his wing. The king of heaven commanded the birds to search for Zabuchi. The birds filled the sky, flying high over the treetops, swooping low through the tangled vines, looking for the little tortoise. Toucan, macaw, and hummingbird found Zabuchi. He was lying helplessly in the forest. His beautiful shell was broken. The birds gathered the pieces and patched him together. When they were done, Zabuchi played a song of thanks for them. And when the birds and where the birds had touched Zabuchi, they each took on a new color. Toucan got a red and yellow beak, macaw bright orange feathers, and hummingbird an emerald green belly. Vulture stayed the same dull color. He still can't sing. Zabuchi the tortoise plays on his flute. His music weaves through the tangled vines and floats above the treetops. His shell may be cracked and patched, but his song is sweet, at least to some. The end. This is another story like the first strawberries where it explains something to you. The story was told to explain why some birds have lots of fun different colors and why one bird in particular does not have any fun colors. And I think too why the tortoise has a shell like he does, why it sort of looks cracked and patched together. <laughs>